Yo, what's up, people? It's Maddie D here from the Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being, abundance, and you know your coach, your life coach. You're helping you get over your emotional crap you got from your parents. So, anyways, my friends, um, I'm gonna go over my notes real quick. So, this is the um, videos about the economic crash part two. Okay, um, what was I gonna go over real quick? is the first one talked about you know how we were due for a recession or crash collapse whatever mark corrections and that pretty much what looks like um according to you know statistics i can't say the word statistics statistically speaking um you know there's been a recession with the united states every four to ten years the last one was in 2008 it is now 2017 next year the next year 2018 excuse me so i'm going to also put in again my resources where i get this from people who are actually in the stock market you know buying stocks buying bonds made money i started learning my um investments up from also reading oh with the book uh, tony robbins this is a good book you need to get by him also this guy's book on audible unshakable so i'm preparing for stuff and it's better to to uh prepare and anticipate these dips in the market because that is when it's that's when my most money is to be made really from what i've learned from what i've, what I've been reading and this video i want to talk to you about really why now everyone wants to get into the market because the general the general consensus that happens is this and this is what i talk about why you want to if you're going to start investing i should make another video about this you have to have it for the long term not some short-term bullshit which everybody goes into that vast majority i used to think that then I realized, you know, I need to start doing stuff for retirement and think long term and doing wealth. I'm like, how can I do this? I started reading on this stuff. And I have a third book on investing called Stock Market for Beginners. I forget who the, who, who the guy is, but I'll put that somewhere below here too. And I'm not an uh, affiliate of this, of, the, of this person. But, um, you know, everyone right now, and, he, and, and you're probably wondering, how do we know we're due for a recession other than, you know, st according to, you know, the... The stat of every four to ten years. Well, look at the market now. I don't know exact, the, the exact numbers, but not like ten years ago, whatever. Right before the crash, the S and P was at like I forget the number. Jack Chapel talks about this in one's videos. Um, it was at like a thousand something. Then the market dropped significantly. You know, the crash of two thousand eight to like six hundred something per share because you can buy shares in, in the S and P. And now it's gone up. It's over. It's around like twenty six hundred, twenty seven hundred dollars. The value of it, if you want to buy a share from the S&P, it's at its peak and it's still going up. And here's the thing: this is the way the stock market works. Basically, the market works. It's it's it goes up pretty high, and then at some point it will come down. Now the thing is, rule is no one, and it's true, no one can consistently predict when the market will drop and when it's going to hit its bottom, when it's going to rise. It, 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 you can't, it's, it's almost impossible to, to do that consistently. However, you can anticipate at some point, yes, it will go back up and it will go down. So right now it's up there. We're in the last, what, four months, 2017, it's September, September, October, November, December. Yeah. Four months, 2017. Wow. Time's gone by fast. So, at some point, there's also some other factors coming along that can cause this, this dip, the drop. You know, war with North Korea, the economy over in China is another one, and then the third one, I forget what it was. Um, I learned from another guy on YouTube. Um, his channel is called Financial, Financial, Financial Education. He also gives tips on how you can, um, which I'll provide too, how you can profit from recessions, because, you know, that's what happens. So this is going to happen. So right now, everyone wants to get in because in the general is once the economy is going up, everyone gets greedy, everyone wants in. But when it drops, everyone wants to just piece the fuck out and go, oh my God, the world's coming in. Here's the thing. You want to get in the stock market all the time. All the time. When it's up, when it's down, when it's really high, really low. Why is that? Because over time, it'll dip and go up, but gradually it goes up. So even when it drops, you lose money. If you, if you stay in a hole in what you got, Yes, you can sell some investments, some stocks and bonds, and everything else. But the longer you stay in, the more your money increases over the long run. It's not like it's not it's not a short term game here. It's a long term. Like you gotta be in you gotta be in for at least ten years. When I read ten years, no less, maybe seven, ten years more. Okay, because that's when compound interest kicks in and all that stuff, and you can start with like thousand dollars and grow to you know whatever 
whatever you're going to grow, 2,000, uh, 10,000, whatever, depending on how much you invest and where your investment goes and your portfolio and other factors. Keeping it real simple right now. But right now, everyone wants to get in it. But as soon as this thing drops, which it will, because we all know it's going to at some point, everyone, no, no one wants interest. No one wants to invest in it. No one wants to go, oh my God, and people's money, blah, blah, blah. But that's where you go against the grain. That's where you realize that, oh, everything's dropping. That's where everything comes stupid, like, cheap discounted. So what you could do when it's dropping is continue to buy everything or if you really want to try and wait out to see how low it goes, you know, when it does drop, wait like wait maybe wait a couple months, buy everything, buy as much as you can then because everything's cheap and just hold on to it because at some point the market will recover and go back up and that's when you, you'll make more money then. Like people don't understand that. But when it's dropping, people are going to go, oh no, don't invest in the market, it, it's going down. Well, that happens every single time and people don't seem to learn this, but it's human nature is why. And listen to these these puns on TV who tell them sell, 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 it's going down. And it's like it's hyping, it's fear in it, and it's just stupid. It's don't listen to that shit. Um I had a point as far what it was, but just continue to buy in all the time. Because Jack Chapel says he buys stocks all the time. When it's up, when the market's up, when the market is down, when it's up and down, yada 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 yada. Continue to do that. Because that's when your wealth will be created. And, and it's literally money that you'll make when you're sleeping. It's passive income. It's like crazy shit. But it's smart. And so you can't predict the market. You can't time it. I wouldn't do that. And where I learned like no one can, can, you know, actually predict or beat the market. If you try that, you're just going to get screwed over and lose. But... But, 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 if you anticipate what's going to do, you're better off and learn and learn and learn for things and researching and what bonds want to invest you in stocks and commodities and certain things and new and stuff. You know, it's research. So that's what I've learned so far. It's don't just buy something, a soccer bond, because it sounds really awesome. Obviously, it they sell you on it. But is it, you know, what Jack Chappell says is to buy, he only buys stocks by to pay dividends. That's money that the company is guaranteed is, is, is guaranteed to pay you if you're not doing shit. Just because you bought into them, they pay you dividends. And the more stocks you buy, the higher dividends, everything else, that's great. It's it's, more, it's it's money you get for literally not doing a damn thing. It's a good rule. To, it's a good rule to go by. Only buy stocks that pay dividends and buy stocks, you know, um, and stuff that like things that are needed regardless of what the economy does, like utility companies, water, food. I'm like, well, that makes sense. Maybe it may not be the sexiest things to buy, but it comes down to it when you when when the, you know the market drops and stuff. People still need to eat, they still need power, and they still need, you know, um, you know, water and stuff. Like, that doesn't change. Why not be smart about that and do that? Um, and also, also, there's growth and risk you can take on. But anyways, but my point is, the other, the other, the other point I want to make in it is, is this, is that what I've learned from, I just got shakeable the other day, is that just because the market is dropping, you haven't really lost money. You're like, what do you mean? The time that you drew that you truly do lose your money when the market is dropping and your stocks are going down in value, if you sell them, do you then lock in your loss and you truly lost money? Because right now, with stocks you have, whether you're going up or down, it's not really a gain or a loss. It's just perceived. It's perceived, you know, in what it is and what's what's happening. But the instant that you sell it, either when it's going up or when it's going down, that's when you've locked in your profit or your loss. Okay. So in this example, what's going to happen to people when the, when the market drops again? People are going to sell off everything and lock in their losses and go, "I lost money." Whereas if you're watching this, you're smart and you take my advice and who I've learned from who are actually doing it. If you hold on to the stocks, even if they're going down. You don't lock in your loss. You're not really losing money because at some point you know, well, shit, it's discounted. I'll buy more. Depending on the company, they're smart what they're doing. The stock will go back up and you will have made more money than before. Or you can get in, give into the fear like everyone else and just sell everything else. Now, easier than done now because, you know, but it helps to not watch the news, not read the news. Those are people who know what they're doing, who've been in this game for years, or people who are learning from people who've been in the game for like, you know, 30, 40, 60 years, and they know what's happened. They know what's gonna happen. Like, they don't know, I'm, I'm sorry, they, they don't know what's gonna happen, but they know how to anticipate 
what can happen and how to weather the storm and then read books about holding on and stuff and just write it out. And historically, you can look at the patterns, but, you know, again, they always say, and I say this too, you know, past performance does not guarantee future performance, but it's a good indicator of like what happens. And it gives you clues to go, okay, well, this happened in the past, so there is a good chance it'll happen to do this, but the market always does this. The market always does this. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. People get in when it's up, people freaking it goes down, they get back in when it goes up again. It's like bipolar as shit. So if you know the market goes like this, which it will, to the end of time, it's a matter of anticipating the dips and maximizing that time to profit so that when it goes back up, you're like, oh shit, I'm going. you're like, oh, I made, I, made, I made, you know, some gains and stuff, which you can do. So you need to freak out about it. And one of the thing, one last bonus fact, I'll say this, is that there's been a bear market, a correction every single year since 1900. What is a correction? A bear market is when the economy drops like 14% or whatever, and people flip the fuck out. Like, oh my God. But that happens every single fucking year. Probably didn't know that. I didn't know that. But now you know that. Don't worry about it. It's gonna drop, and it'll go back up again. And only lasts in the market correction or a drop or bear market. Bear market only lasts about, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, only only lasts about two months on average. That's sixty days. Two months. So you know, two months out of every year, it's gonna drop and goes back up. It's part of the game. You have nothing to fucking worry about. It's like, okay, it's part of the game. whoop de doo whoop, whoop, whoop. So, hope this helps. I'm gonna end this video. It's gone on long enough, but hey, I'm hoping to help you out with this because if a person who wants to, you know, up over their money game and start investing, it was, you know, this is the time to do it. The time goes on. So, like this video, please comment, share it if you feel like someone else gets some, if you, if you, if you feel that someone else gets some value and subscribe to my channel and also, I will offer, you know, if you subscribe to my newsletter, the link, link is below. Offer your free um, coaching session on, you know, parent shit and the money and anything else. We can customize it. And if you want to work together, we can do that too. So I appreciate you. Love you. Hey, get in the black, my friend. I'll see you again. Peace.